And it's finally time to have a look at my brother's terrible server build, which is honestly one of the worst build PCs I think I've ever seen. Sorry about that, Brom. But before we get into this video, uh, I want you to check out the first video in this series called Brom's Box of Random PC Crap, where I unbox a box of what is Brahms PC graveyard and I find some fairly interesting things in there and then subscribe to the channel because there are more videos coming where I turn the components that I find in that box into a PC that I'm using while I'm here in South Africa. Anyway let's go to my brother's house and rip in his PC building skills a bit. Okay, so I've been absent from, from Southern Africa for quite a while. Uh, and then when I came back to visit my brother, who's sitting on the couch here, I, I saw in horror that he has some of the worst PC building skills I think I've ever seen in my life. So I got his consent to do a video uh, just breaking down his, his server building style. So let's start at the front of the case. It's uh, a case by Raidmax, which I don't know if you get in the Western world, but they're pretty horrendous. So that does give us one bit of consolation for Brahm because they are really terrible to build in. Um, as you can see, just by unveiling there, it's it's not got a side panel on. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Is. Yeah, I don't know. This is how he keeps it permanently. Yeah. So this isn't this isn't staged. Um, I think it would be quite difficult to close it though, because whatever is happening there is, is I think, difficult to contain. But so, <laughs> one of the things that Brahm was talking about was that this is nine terabytes of storage though, so he is very proud of, of that number. Um, but it just, like, so if you look in the back of the case here, which I don't know if you can see from that angle, I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing at, but it's actually got a raised motherboard tray. So all of this stuff that's going on here can just go through the back, because like nothing's routed through the back there, which I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I, I, think, I, I think my favorite bit of all of this is the, is the eight pin CPU cable. That's just, this, this is it. This is, this is the eight pin CPU cable. And then the graphics card cable is here. Um, and the thing is, it's actually got really decent hardware in it. So it's got an X99 motherboard in it. I think it's a 24 gigs of RAM? Yeah. So it's got 24 gigs of RAM in it. And then it's got a 5930K in it, I think, is the CPU. Oh, yeah. And then for a graphics card, it's got an AMD RX 560 in it. He actually used two of them to mine some cryptocurrencies at a point. Um, but it's actually a Strix variant of the card and um, it's got a lot of GPU sag going, which I don't really understand why that is. Because it's like a tiny little graphics card that's just like hanging off there. Okay, that's your head. Oh, it's just my head in the way. <laughs> Sorry. In the custom BIOSes in. Oh, and it's got custom BIOSes <laughs> in for, for cryptocurrency <laughs> mining, right? So that you can kind of like clock the memory more ridiculously. Yeah, I don't actually think you can get with those now. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think they'll do anything. Oh, wow. And then it's got the 240 millimeter radiator, but this is where it gets really contentious. Because, so if you open up the case, which I might need, do you just... <laughs> savage it there. Okay, so you just savage it off. But <laughs> as you can see here, it does officially support a 240 millimeter radiator. Now, according to the actual case spec, but according to Brahm, I don't know if this is an excuse, but with the actual motherboard installed, apparently this radiator doesn't fit. So as you can see here, he had to kind of like bend it open to get it in there. But if you bring it around, you can see it's not actually screwed in at all. It's actually resting on the CPU power cable there. I don't know how well you can see that through there. We might get some B-roll of that. So the entire 240 millimeter radiator is resting on this CPU power cable, which <laughs> I, I really, I, I don't understand how that's happened. Um, but yeah, no, so I think, let me know in the comment section below if you think that he should be more ashamed of himself and rebuild this PC, and then we can maybe, we can, we can maybe start some kind of some kind of online protest to get him to fix all of this hardware. Or if you think that this is an acceptable way to actually treat your, to treat, treat your PC. 
And just to redeem his PC building somewhat, he has built a new gaming PC, which is standing right over here. And it is a beast, and it is actually really well built. So we'll get some B-roll of that going, so that you can see that he's not completely hopeless when it comes to, when it comes to PC building. And with that, that's the end of this video. Do subscribe to the channel for the rest of the series of Brahms Random Box of PC Crap. The videos will be released on Mondays and Fridays. So this Friday, there's a really exciting video coming where I'm gonna do some strange things with PC components that don't belong together. It's basically like my version of PC incest, I guess, but it's kind of like the opposite of incest actually because they're like different companies but anyway stay tuned for that if you like the video do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and until the next one bye bye